Good morning. What is love? Then we're looking at 2 John, and we're looking at this major section, verses 4 to 6 is the first major section. Today we're looking at verses 5 and 6. Yesterday is for verse 4. But let's see what verses 5 and 6 say. And now I plead with you, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment to you, but that which we have had from the beginning, that we love one another. This is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, that as you have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. Now this passage gives us a very important definition of love. There's a lot of fuzzy, wuzzy definitions of love out there. Love is this, love is that. So, what is love? The Bible does give us very good definition here. Love is walking, says John. This is love that we walk according to his commandments. His commandments? Well, I thought love was something vague and foggy and impenetrable. No, this is something very definite. It's interesting that in the Bible, many times we find that the Hebrew mind, many things in the Hebrew are very concrete, and John is a Hebrew. He's speaking very concretely of love. Many people think about, when we say uh, love in the Bible, they think, oh, we have the love chapter, and we do. 1 Corinthians 13 is widely known as being the, the love chapter. But I want to tell you, there are two love chapters in the Bible, yes. And strangely, strangely, it seems to some, but not strangely, the other love chapter is Leviticus chapter 19. Well, Leviticus, how could that be a love chapter? Go read it. Go read it. I challenge you. Leviticus 19 talks about love in actual concrete type terms. It talks about, for example, if you have a crop, you leave the edges of your field, you leave the fruit on the trees and the edges of your field so that the poor can come and take some. There's things in Leviticus 19 about keeping God's Sabbath, uh, about respecting the aged among you, things like that. You'll find it is definitely a love chapter. So love is demonstrated in concrete acts of goodness. There's a lot of high-sounding claims and big ideas, and this is justice and this is love, and, but it's in the concrete pieces that we really get our best instruction about what God means with love. Did Jesus die on the cross? Is that purely a theory? No, that was, that was kind of pretty concrete. Yes. So this is why John, here in the New Testament, tells us rather concretely what love is. Love means to walk in God's commandments. Walk in them, do them, obey them. Don't obey them for salvation, but obey them. Obey them because you love the Lord God. We do them because God is love, and we're copying him in our imperfect, so much less, less than infinite way. We're copying him. And in his grace, his infinite grace, he's going to help us copy it. And it can pour out in concrete acts of love toward God and to others. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for this fascinating piece here. As we're going to come up onto the Antichrist issue in this book, first you're talking about true obedience, true love. And those pieces actually go together. Those aren't bad. Those aren't antithetical to Christianity. They're at the very root of the real deal. Thank you for this, Lord. Help us to to walk in your commandments, not to be saved, but because this is what obviously we would do as we seek to follow Jesus. Lord, thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In your experience, where are you disregarding God's commandments? Or as John might say to us, where are you not loving well? Something to approach today with the Lord. God be with you. Have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus.